So we have a new update available for Rise Droid OS based on Android 13, Rise Droid version 8.2. The things which are available in this version and the customizations which are added and a lot more things in this video. I'm going to talk about all those things. So stay tuned. First of all, yes, it's Rise UI 3.2 officially and unofficially available for your device, most likely because this room contains a lot of features. And yes, they always give you update very frequently. So yes, you must give it a try. The security patch is now updated to November security patch. So yes, the new things are there. We also have a lot of new changes, which I will definitely talk about in this one. I'm testing it on Redmi Note. Um, sorry, I'm testing it on Mi 11X. Actually, I, I have Redmi Note 10 Pro also. You can go and check it out for that custom for that device. This custom is available. We have face unlock, which was kind of expected. Face unlock is fine and now it's almost added in every custom room like Cherry Shoes or Pixel Experience as far as I know. That's almost added there. And Pixel Experience custom room video is also coming very soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. We also have this one of my favorite features called hide IME space, IME button space below the keyboard. So yes, whenever you enable this option, what you will see is you will see the keyboard below the space was not will not be there. Let me show you which thing I'm talking about. If I click here, um, you can see the keyboard below the blue keyboard space is just not here. And this is because of that hide IME space option, which is one of my favorite ones. If, if we talk about some customizations changes which we have, we have new about phone style option. So let me just go here. Okay, this is a UI. You can see Mi 11X Rise. If I go here to user interface once again about phone style, if I move on to the second option, you will see this big banner. So it's up to you if you want to enable this thing or not. It's up. It's totally up to you. If you don't want to use this, you can simply disable that. Second, another second useful thing or maybe a customization based change is this settings UI change. Okay, this is the UI. You can customize the settings style if you want to. Moving on to the user interface and settings styles, we have arcane style, stock pixel, Google material U. Whichever you feel comfortable with, you can use that. You can see the UI will be changed by just clicking once. You don't need to reboot your device to customize anything. Ions card UI is the one which I was using previously and this is the UI. So if you need this card UI, you can use this thing or you can use any other if you want to. It's just totally up to you. This is what we have in the lock screen. We also have some changes. Yes, I'm talking about lock screen clock styles. We have nothing OS like clock available, which is not by default. You can customize that if you want to. But the second thing is this. When you click here, you will be able to scan QR codes from directly from your lock screen. And for your kind of information, if you need this thing in any other custom, you can still get this with the help of a magic module. So if you need a magic module, make sure to comment below. I will provide the link for that. We have the fonts customizations. Fonts were available previously too, but with this new update, we have new font options available. For example, this Geo Metos SE board, and this is the UI which actually seems okay, okay. It's about user's preference. The second one is a Pice outline. And from my personal preference or opinion, I just don't like this thing at all. But yes, the bold fonts were nice, including that some nothing dot fonts are also there. So if you're a nothing OS lover, you have those fonts available. The same which you have in nothing OS also, or maybe nothing device, nothing phone one, and other options are just kind of same. Like notifications also have the one UI style reticker notifications. So if you are a Samsung one UI lover, you need notifications like that you can use that option and from my personal opinion retigger notifications are just working flawlessly this is super good and i found this one this one this custom room actually has a better options and better stability and yes these things might be device specific volume panel also has new options we have realme ui style volume panel let me show you which i'm talking about this is the ui which we have and if you want to expand this thing and this bar this is how this is looking like and other than else we also have rise style volume panel available which actually is just a bit bold but not major changes compared to realme ui style it's almost same if I move on to this, we have some default volume panel styles, the same which you have in Android 12 or Android 13. So things are basically same. Other than else, this is what we have. Sound and vibration you just saw per app volume control you already noticed. 
and last but not least these are the things which we have these are the things i just want to let you know i hope you like this thing if you like this don't forget to like and share this if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel and yes i will see you in the next one until then goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel